Come on, boys. Let's go do something with some cattle, finally. All right, today is the day off of school, so I've got a bunch of helpers here. We're saddling up to go mess with some cows. We've got three horses right here. Belong to a businessman from down in Arizona. He set them up to get some riding on them. The paint right there, pretty good using horse. Dark horse, same thing, pretty nice to ride. Sorrel horse, not so much. He wasn't quite far enough along to be doing any ranch work on, but since I've got plenty of help today to do the work, I'm gonna see if I can get on him, tag along a little bit, and get him to learn something. Hopefully not have any kind of real wrecks. Hello, Ridgey. I'm thinking that horse is going to buck you off. You don't even have a bridle on him. Yeah, good question. We've got quite a crew today and a little trick to fitting the most horses possible in one of these trailers is to turn these horses what we call head to tail, one facing forward, then one facing back. That stacks them in there about as tight as you can get them stacked in there.
Hear that sorrow horse snorting like that? I'm getting old enough. I don't really like to hear that first thing in the morning anymore. That's a clue he might be interested in bucking you off. I think sometimes I'm too nice of a dad. I'm putting my teenage boys on those two that aren't too bad to ride. And here I got this one that's snorting and thinking about putting me on the ground. There they are, all stacked in, loaded up, and ready to go. Let's go look for some cattle. Mama kind of wanted to line us up for a photograph. I'm more interested in just getting this horse kind of moving out and hope this doesn't go bad for me. There's a bunch of cattle all kind of scattered through the valley right here. We're gonna go ahead and spread out, push down through here and kind of gather them toward the pond that's over there by the arena. Then we'll take a right and head west up toward the house. We don't really need all of these cattle right now, but it'll teach them a bad habit if you ride by and let them get away. So we're gonna go ahead and gather everything and take them and then sort out what we need. What we're wanting to get is some bulls that need fed, some cows that are thin and need a little bit of hay, and also any of the calves. You can see the house in the distance right there. One thing I've learned since we've been in this big open valley is that the distance can be deceiving. You can see something and think it's just right over there, but it's a lot farther than it looks. There's a fence around the pond right here, so we all kind of brought our separate little bunches here and held them in place. Now that we've got everybody here together, we're gonna to go ahead and take them out of here and head up toward the house. That rabbit, Robbie. <laughs> I turned back. It's right behind Robbie. These guys are goofing off trying to rope a jackrabbit. Yeah. I'll bet they don't get him. Yeah, I think the rabbit's pretty safe besides for getting harassed. <laughs> How's tough doing for you, cowboy Rob? But he wouldn't stop like he just did? Dang. Oh, Mustang. Getting close to the house now. Sometimes these cattle get a little bit nervous approaching the house and the corrals right here and things start to go bad, but 
They're trailing along pretty good. I'll bet we can get them in there okay. When we get these ones locked in the corral, we're going to get some dogs and load up and go after some that are not quite as easy as these ones. Come on, coon dog, get in, let's go. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Got some dog power loaded up. Hi, Jill Bill. That's the best dog. And Bill, Jill and Bill, you're both the best dog, huh? There were some cattle here along the road, so we stopped and threw some dogs out on them. Still getting it figured out. A few of them are trying to run off. Dogs are bringing them back. There goes one. She's going to keep on trying it. Go to the front. Need those cows to quit trotting off ahead like that and stay in the bunch. I didn't bring nearly enough dogs. Got two good dogs trying their heart out, but they need some help. Oh, one of our secrets to being able to handle cattle that are a little bit wild, want to run a little bit and trot off and try to get away from you. Once you finally got them, get them in a bunch and stop them. If you'll around them kind of get people on either side of them and hold them sometimes longer than you can stand to do it 10 15 20 minutes 30 minutes the longer you can stand to sit there and hold them in a bunch that gets their mind broke pretty soon after standing here in a bunch they think we got them caught the truth is any one of these cows could take off running and get away from us and there's besides from roping there ain't much we could do about it but if you can get their mind tamed and they think they're caught in their mind then you got them whooped so we're not going to sit here no 30 minutes i'm not that patient right now and these cows are not that wild but we're going to sit here for a few minutes let them settle get their heart rate down and they'll they'll drive pretty decent onto the corral so it's not been that long maybe five minutes or something but you can see these cattle have visibly calmed down they're breathing slower, their heads are down lower. It looks like we can probably go ahead and pull out and head toward the corral. Let's go. Riley, stay out in front of them, keep them going slow. That's another little trick that works sometimes. If we had more dogs, we wouldn't need to, but if you're a little short on dogs or your dogs get tired, put one cowboy in front to kind of keep them slowed down just a little bit. Bulls, they need to go to the house and get some hay. They're getting a little bit thin. Take care of them. Those calves right there, we're gonna wean those. And some of these dry cows that are doing fine, we'll go ahead and leave them up here. We got up here to the corral, and there is a whole nother herd that was hanging around up here. So Riley and Rio got up there, got those stopped. We're gonna attempt to get this bunch with that bunch put the whole bunch in the corral. Kind of get up to the front and the side of them there, Rance. Let's put them right with that other bunch. Almost looks like we're gonna get lucky here. We'll see. Sometimes they can change their mind at the last second. Just when you think it's gonna go good, it goes bad. Hustle up there, Rancer. Ryler, both of you hustle. Got a gaping hole on the side there. There, the boys filled it. Ah, yeah. Stampede!
Told y'all I'm good at two things and that's one of them. Look at that. This summer flood came right through the corral and completely buried the fence on the side of the corral right there. We're gonna have to put them over in the back side. That flood came right through there, didn't wipe out that fence, flooded right down through and wiped out that side. Got a big pile of logs there. We're gonna use those to fix it as soon as we get around to it. It's on the list. Got them now. Now somebody's got to sort them all. You ready to sort? Yeah. Right now we're putting the calves, the skinny cows, and the bulls on the truck. Everything else we're letting them out for now. Watch out, Rio. Lost two. When I run the camera and sort cattle, I usually don't do that. Bring her great. back in. Get in there, too. Bull loading. Traffic jam in the load out here. The one the bull's gotta come back and then the cow has to go forward. Back up. She's got to back up a little more. Her hips still yep. hung right there. There we go. All right, now one at a time. Yeah. Hey, everything that needs to go to the house is loaded up. It's a tight load, heavy load, but they're in there. Oh, you guys are the lucky ones. You get to go home and get hay. Get in, let's go. Load up. Ridgie, get in. Hurry. I'm doing this so I can make fire. I'll make fire. Uh -oh. Ooh, got a driver. Okay, we got to go to the house and unload these cattle and then come back for all of our horses. Obviously, we don't have room for them, so we'll get some kids started on chores down at the house and somebody gets to come back and get the horses. All aboard? We missing anybody? No. Who are we missing? Wait, me. Missing you. No, no, We're missing Sissy. Not. You ready? I got some